What's up, Outlaws? You asked for it, you got it. Check out the merch. Shirts, hats, it's there for you. Pick it up. AmericanOutlawNation.com, linked in the links below. Today, let's go over my personal self-defense rifle, the Mark 18, from Daniel Defense. And really, it's my favorite rifle. So, a couple of things. This is going to be a little bit longer review, but it is what it is. Let's check it out. All right. I have taken this rifle and I shot with James Yeager at Tactical Response. Um, I've shot a few thousand rounds on my own, and I shot at Thunder Ranch with Clint Smith in Las Vegas. To Clint, Heidi, and James, I appreciate all of you guys uh, for having me, shooting with me. It was pretty awesome classes. So, let's go butt to tip, you know. All right, I have this new Magpul stock on there. I actually found out about this Magpul stock through James Jaeger. Um, I have it to where I can have my uh, batteries inside of here, one, two, three batteries that fit up on both sides. And then I smash plastic down inside of them so that they don't wiggle. And I put them in there, which gives me a lot of extra batteries for everything inside of my gun. Um, I have on this one, it's a Knight's Armament SR15 lower. I bought the lower pre the vid before they were stupid expensive. I guess they've always been stupid expensive, but anyway, so I, I bought the Knight's SR15 lower. I have stuck with this lower as just kind of my go-to favorite lower that I have. If I could explain it to you, it's the way that the safety feels when I come up with it and come back down. It's, it, it's just the way the safety feels. Um, I, don't, I don't own another gun that feels as good as that one or as good as this one. And then also a lot of times whenever you have this other side safety right here, um, because I like to hold really high on my gun, I, it, it will hit my hand. Well, Knights has this little deal right here that it's like shaved down and it's never hit my hand once, but it makes it to where when I'm coming back off safety or I need to put it back on safety, I just have to brush my finger back a little bit. Um, and I really like that, all right? So on this SR15 upper, I changed the Magpul butt stock and I changed this to the Bravo Company gunfighting handle. I'm not a fanboy, guys. I don't care what manufacturer makes what, I'll just put it on there if it makes sense for me. So everything that I do on this rifle makes sense for me and how I shoot. It may not make sense for you, but I like to grab high on my rifle like I do on my pistol, and I like how this safety works with that. So that's why I chose that. I changed it to the to the Bravo Gunfighter, and I, I really like having this, this ability. I just, it's just, it's just, I like it. Then I went and I bought the Daniel Defense Mark 18 upper and it's, it's all Daniel Defense except for the bolt because it didn't come with a bolt and it didn't come with a charging handle. So I've got the, the Geisley super charging handle that I put on it and I put a Colt full auto uh, bolt carrier group in there. Look, if, if you need a good bolt carrier group, Colt is a good bolt carrier group. So I put that in there and it's been a hammer. I put the Surefire RC2 on here. Right now it's on here and it stayed on here because I finally just got my new CGS cans, which will be replacing this Surefire. Um, and I'll tell you why here in a second, but it'll be re replacing them as soon as I can pull it off and, and go back out to the range and learn my holdovers. Right now though, um, if something happens, somebody, you know, something goes bump in the night, WROL, whatever you foresee happening, I'm taking this because it's done, it's ready. I know all of my holdovers, everything is set up. It's perfect for me. I really like it. Some people will say, hey, I think the Mark 18 is obsolete. Yeah, the funny thing is the Mark 18 right now still is the only thing that will hold a laser zero perfectly. And the reason why the military went away and started looking and finding out that the 10.3 barrels, that 11.5 was a little bit better, um, was just because the program of record was over and they were like, hey, what could we do to make this? It's already awesome. It's already proven itself over, what, a decade and a half of combat. It'll still be in use for the next decade. And I mean, it's a hardened battle rifle, but what could we do to make it better? And then they started diving into it to make it better. The truth is you're never gonna fire enough rounds out of this in your life that it matters. And if you fired that many out of them, cool. It breaks, you go grab another one, whatever. I mean, um, so I don't have any issues with it. The 10.3 versus the 11.5 is an argument that is, it means nothing to me. Is it a little bit better? Sure. In none of the ways that will matter to you, the average American shooter. Moving forward, what I have on this gun is I've, I've got a LA-5 laser um, and I've got a mod light. Um, what is this one? This is the PLH V2, and I got this just because it's what they recommended. 
I don't mind the mod lights, but I'm gonna switch this too when I switch the silencer. Now listen, when I switch my guns up, this is important. This gun is set up, ready to go. I know the holdovers. Everything on it is ready for a moment's notice for a bump, for anything that can possibly go wrong, okay? If I'm gonna change something on it, I'm gonna make all the changes I want on the day that I'm taking it to the range so that when I'm done at the end of that day, everything's locked tied it down, everything's done. I've ran it through its paces, put a few hundred rounds through it, and I can then trust my life to it again. So that's why I don't change anything until I'm ready to change multiple things at once. It's just how I do it. I set this up to where I can grab my, my laser and push the laser button here. Now, once again, this is an everything rifle for me. So this is sitting by the bed. Um, if somebody came in at night, uh, I may not use the laser, or I may just use the daytime portion of the laser, which is the case, I would just push it down and I'd have the ability to have the daytime portion of this laser. Um, if I needed the nighttime, because some reason I had my nods, I'd just push it over before I started. Um, I don't probably think I'll have my nods, which is why I have a light, but I have the ability to control my light. One thing you guys have to remember, everybody has a light on their gun because it's a very popular thing to have. I do think you need a light on your gun. But as soon as you turn on the light on your gun, the bad guy knows where you are and you probably still don't know where the bad guy is. Maybe you should take a training class to figure out some low light tactics on what it is that you're supposed to do. Although, now that said, caveat here. I still agree that if I'm in my house, I will go ahead and turn on the light because I'm thinking the bad guy's gonna hide from me and as I go through my house, I'm turning on lights. But if I'm in the mountains or if I'm outside or if it's WROL, I will very, very seldom, if any, use this light except in a dire emergency, which is why I don't have an extra pressure pad for this light. I've ran my gun like this for years. All right, moving forward. I have the Bravo Company um, little short stubby on the front of it. I turn it, I guess, backwards. It works really well with how I hold the gun. So if you want to see, it works really well with how I hold the gun here. And... Um, I, I, I like to have them on all of my guns, and especially because if you don't, if you haven't spent a lot of time on your gun, it doesn't matter who you are, you're gonna get tired. I can hold this up and I can brace my gun down here, and it just gives me just a little bit where I can still be fast if I had to. Um, so I like that, this portion of my gun, and that's why I have it, um, because I'm not in shape enough, is what it is. All right, I got the Surefire RC2 can on here. Like I said, a CGS is gonna replace it. I don't mind this RC2 except I really can't shoot it without earmuffs. It does pretty decent on stopping the flash, which is what it's supposed to do. Um, but it's loud. Like you, you can't shoot it without earmuffs, really. I mean, you kind of can, but not really. Can't shoot it in a house or multiple times without them. So this is not my choice for a can. I mean, I know it's super popular, but the guys who use this for a living are just looking for flash suppression. Um, and sound suppression is secondary to flash suppression. And then uh, I have a, I think this is a Ferro Concept, Ferro Concept sling on here. Um, a sling's a sling, this one's, this one's good. Um, you know, get a good sling, run your sling that you, that you like, whichever one it is you choose, I don't care. Um, I use a two point sling and I adjust it to fit me. Ferro Concepts isn't bad because I have this, um, this pull tab on there and I like that. I also have the Aimpoint T2. The reason for my home defense gun, I choose an Aimpoint T2 is because the, the battery life lasts for five years. Now I replace the battery on mine every single year, but the battery will last five years. So I leave it on, I leave it on, what is this on right now, 10? 10, I leave it on 10 year round. I never change it, never take it off. Nothing ever changes on it. I like the unity mount because it allows me to keep my head up. And it also allows me if I had night vision on and I wasn't using my laser, I can passively shoot through this um, where they didn't, you know, if somebody else had night vision on, they wouldn't see me. Um, that's a secondary thing, but mainly for me is that I can just raise the gun, keep my head up and I can shoot. <clears throat> so I choose the unity mount. The one thing is you gotta work your holdovers on these cause they're not the same. Most holdovers are the size of a magazine this is your holdover. This is a little more than the size of your magazine. This holdover I found when I was at Thunder Ranch shooting, I was actually having to hold over the target to be able to make headshots. It's something that's really important. Don't just assume you know your holdovers. Go out and practice your holdovers. Last thing I do to this thing is I keep a PMAG and these are 70 grain Barnes TSXX solid copper bullets. 
which is recommended in these short barrels to be probably the best bullet through them or a 77 grain Sierra Match King. I keep two in here, two magazines on each other because I'm a believer that if something goes bump in the night, I'm gonna fight with what's in the gun or on the gun. I'm not putting on a chest rig. I'm probably not putting on my night vision. You know, I just woke up, I'm probably in my underwear. And what I wanna do is have the ability that I can just reach over, change these magazines, and I have a whole nother set of magazines. Is it heavy? Yeah, it's a little heavier. Um, is it inconveniently heavy? No, it's not inconveniently heavy because I'm not carrying this all day or for hours on end. I'm carrying it for, this is set up for minutes. If I knew I was gonna carry it for hours, then I'd probably have multiple magazines and I'd only put one magazine. But right now, this is set up. It stays loaded, chambered, on safety, ready to go. I always close the dust cover so I know and everybody who's around me knows that there is actually a round in there. And either way, all guns are always loaded. Um, and so let's go ahead and danger her up and close it up. And this sets with me wherever I am as a completely finished Daniel Defense Mark 18. It's still saving lives and doing work daily in this configuration. It will for the next decade. It's not out of date. I will pick it 10 times out of 10 because you can bet your life on it. You can bet your life on Daniel Defense. And uh, this is one tough sucker right here. I'm telling you, I have beat on this rifle and it just works. I don't put it in a case. I don't put it in a Pelican. I just beat it around. I'll throw it in the back of the truck. I don't care because I want a rifle that under heavy use works. And this Daniel Defense Mark 18 under heavy use absolutely works. And the way that I have it set up, well, I like it better than yours. All right, Outlaws, I appreciate you very much. Like, subscribe, hit the bell notifications. Could you please do me a favor? If you like my content, go through and just start making comments in there. Hit the like button. The more comments you do, comment to everybody's comment and help me get in that algorithm. I appreciate you very much. Check out Patreon, check out the merch. All of that stuff helps me bring this to you every week so you can hang out with the outlaws. All right, guys, outlaw out. <laughs>